All right, I want to thank all of you for joining us today. Um, this is a phased operation that mirrors supply, and if there's other uh, available throughputs, such as all the state and local sites out there, the pharmacies, those will be taken into account. So uh, I don't think we will go past the 100 sites. Uh, in fact, I, I anticipate the number to be less than that, but I want to make sure I had the total amount ready and sent DOD a big enough demand signal that if we did need it that much uh, in a short period of time, they were ready for the mission. How much will we have to get to those other teams? It depends on how much the pharmacies can do, uh, how much states and local governments can handle, and what is the gap. We want to make sure we have the capability to go up to almost 500,000 vaccines a day. That's what the 100 teams buys us. How much we'll use will depend on vaccine supply and the capability of state and local government, the pharmacies, and other avenues. And if you're aiming for 400,000 a day or the capability to do that, what we're working through is the criteria for that pilot. Large population areas uh, using the CDC social vulnerability index uh, to focus on uh, populations at risk uh, that, uh, to ensure uh, equity in the, um, in the vaccination of individuals. Uh, in addition to that is all the support. So pharmacists, for example, you have to have pharmacy techs uh, and pharmacists to prepare the vaccine. You have to have runners, et cetera, to distribute the vaccine. As po folks pull into this site where you drive in, we have to have support personnel who screen those persons, ensure that they've had a, uh, a proper screening ahead of the vaccine. Uh, in addition, we have supervisors uh, that are nurses, such as uh, uh, RNs providing supervisory roles over medics uh, that are providing the vaccines. And we also have medical providers who are supervising after the vaccine to ensure there's no complications.